Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Dexcom G7. I absolutely love this device. It is the new continuous glucose meter by Dexcom. We'll be going through the differences between the G7 and the G6 and I'm going to do a demonstration on myself for you on exactly how to insert the sensors. So comparing the prior G6 model to the new G7 model, they both have a lifespan on their sensors of 10 days. They're both waterproof. They both have customizable high and low alerts and they're both compatible with iOS and Android. As far as the differences, the G6 was small, but the G7 is even smaller. And the other nice thing is that the sensor and transmitter are included in one piece on the G7. Another difference is the warm-up time. The G7's warm-up time is only 30 minutes, whereas the G6 warm-up time was two hours. So with the G7, you'll spend more time knowing what your blood sugars are. The G7 is approved for use in pregnancy, which is super awesome. And um, the difference, uh, there is a different site where you insert it. The G7 is approved for uh, insertion on the back of the arm. The one downside is that the G7 is not yet approved for integration with automated insulin delivery systems like pumps and in pens. So if you have a pump that uses, that integrates with your Dexcom, you'll need to continue using your G6 until that change is made. So with that, let's get to how to insert it. First step is to know where to insert it. And as I mentioned, if you are an adult using a G7, you will insert it um, in the back of the arm. If you are ages, if you have a child ages between two and six, um, they can use the upper uh, buttocks area. You want to avoid areas with loose skin or without enough fat to avoid um, muscle and bone. Um, you want to avoid areas that get bumped frequently um, or that you lie on in your sleep. And um, you want to avoid areas within three inches of where you inject. The next step is you want to clean and dry the area and wash your hands with soap and water. I did just wash my hands just prior to this video. Um, you'll take an alcohol prep pad and you're going to want to clean the area where you're going to place your sensor and let it dry for at least 10 seconds. The next step is that you're going to remove your device from the box and you're going to unscrew the cap. You do this just by rotating this top part and take this off and be sure not to touch inside the applicator. For the next step, I'm going to walk you through it verbally and then we'll do it together. So you see that there's a clear safety guard here at the top. You're going to put this up against your skin and you're going to press it against your skin until the clear safety guard is pressed in and then you're gonna press this button on the side. That's gonna insert it. After that, you'll be able to remove the applicator. Okay, so here it goes. So make sure that you're, um, you're not tensing up your muscles. Um, you're gonna put this up against your skin, press the clear safety guard against it, and then you're gonna press the button and remove the applicator. That's it. You're gonna to want to um, recap this. But you need to save the applicator because um, you're gonna need the code on the applicator so that you compare it to your um, application on your phone. To help keep the patch on your skin, you're gonna rub and press. So you're gonna just rub around about three times on the outside, and then you're gonna gently press for about 10 seconds. The last step is that you need to apply the over patch. This is going to help keep the device um, attached to you for the duration of the 10 days. First thing you need to do is um, remove one at a time, both of the clear liners on the one side. You need to do this without touching um, the white adhesive area. And then after you do that, you're going to hold it by the green part um, and that's going to help you to apply it around your device. Once you get it around their device, then you can take the green part off and you're going to rub around it to make sure that it stays on. And that's that. That's the whole thing. Didn't even hurt at all. Setting up the app is very easy. You want to make sure that you have secure internet access throughout the time that you're doing the setup. To get started, you can either uh, scan the QR co code that's in the instruction manual in your um, G7 box, or you can go directly to the app store and type in Dexcom G7. 
Once you find that, then click on that and download that to your device. Next, open the app and log in or create an account, and then follow the instructions to set up your app and pair your device. The sensor warm-up timer tells you when you'll start getting readings and alerts. Well, I hope this video was helpful on how to use the new Dexcom G7 and how to insert it. If you liked it, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. This helps me to reach more people. Until next time, we'll see you next week. Hasta luego.